Hi, Dr. Jin Sung here, and welcome back to Thyroid Management Success Secrets number 17. Your adrenal glands make a hormone called cortisol. They sit atop of your kidneys, and they are your stress glands. They make a lot of hormones for your body in addition to cortisol, such as aldosterone and androgens. Your adrenal glands are vital for optimal health. When your adrenal glands are not working, it causes high levels of cortisol to go into your system, and this is why you still may have thyroid symptoms, even when your other tests are tend to be normal. Cortisol is one of those main factors that regulate blood sugar levels, not insulin. Everybody thinks it's insulin, but in actuality it's cortisol. When cortisol is released by your adrenal glands, it is accompanied by cytokines. Cytokines suppress the ability of your pituitary gland in your brain and your hypothalamus, also in your brain, to make TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone. So your adrenal glands make cortisol in response to stress, whether it's physical, chemical, or emotional stress. And cortisol also promotes inflammation, which makes your adrenal glands pump out even more cortisol. As cortisol, as, as cortisol is released, cytokines come along with it, and it suppresses your pituitary gland. There are common causes for elevated cortisol, some of them being chronic stress, post-traumatic stress disorders, or hidden gut infections such as parasites. You'd be surprised how many people have parasitic infections. Other causes of elevated cortisol include blood sugar dysregulation, which is high or low blood sugar, hypoglycemia or insulin resistance or diabetes. You need to make sure blood sugar level is very stable and you need to understand that when you have these problems, when your blood sugar level is going up or down, so does your cortisol levels, which means that cytokines will also go up and down, right, which affects your pituitary gland and makes it uh, dysfunction and you're not making enough TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. So you start having thyroid symptoms such as fatigue, hair loss, cold hands and feet, insomnia, inability to lose weight, depression, because of cytokine production is, is, is very high because of cortisol uh, levels. Don't forget, there are several types of blood sugar problems, not just diabetes, but hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar, and insulin resistance, which is high blood sugar. So let's recap. Hypoglycemia is a blood sugar level of 85 and lower on fasting, and insulin resistance is fasting blood sugar between 100 and, 120, uh, and 126. Diabetes is fasting blood sugar levels of 127 or higher on multiple readings. So be aware. If your stress levels are high, your adrenal glands are going to be pumped harder and your cortisol levels are going to increase, followed by cytokine levels that are going to increase, which in turn will suppress your pituitary gland to not function properly, which will cause decreased amounts of thyroid stimulating hormone. High cortisol will sabotage your attempt to combat thyroid problems. If you are suffering with adrenal fatigue, you need to avoid refined sugars, alcohol, caffeine, because these are high stressors to your immune system. You don't think you can get away with just eating um, a sugar substitutes or artificial sugars or MSG because these are the worst things you can do for your adrenal glands. Again, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, we're at Clinical Excellence meets excellent results.